sorry about that, my phone rang. Um, yeah, so this one, um, it's quite a sweet little house. This one just has the spruce wood uh, for the first floor rather than the white. Um, so now that we've got the majority of the walls done, we're going to do these little details, these ones down here. So for that, we're going to grab some spruce wood and level with the bottom window pane, the bottom square for the opening. We're going to go around and put an outward facing, if I can, um, <coughs> log. This is just, again, it's going to make it not look flat. Um, oops. So we're going to bring more spruce logs up all the way around up to that uh, outward facing log. Sometimes I really concentrate very hard and then I forget that I have to talk. So, whoa, there we go. Whiz over here. Yeah, so this is already starting to look a lot less flat on the ground floor. So then what we're going to do is the window... the window uh, sills, which are these here. So you need to go around with some slabs and place um, on the bottom half of the block underneath the window here, uh, not on the door, one slab like so. And then Following that, you need to get some brick stairs, and not that way around. That way around, put some normal way, normal way, just some stairs, not upside down stairs, just normal stairs, normal way. Normal way stairs works, I suppose. Normal way brick stairs is in us. So once you have done that, you've got your windowsills. Um, and the next step would be to put the glass in. Now for the standard uh, version, I don't know, the standard building which we're doing here, I'm going to use white stained glass. Um, you could use any type of stained glass just to make it a bit varied and interesting but the sort of standard um, to fit with the whole uh, snow biome theme is white stained glass. I'm just going to fill in all the windows all the way around, including the one above the door. All the way around, all the way around, like that. Then we're going to go to this gable end and fill in the windows here. Now with the bay window, it's quite simple and it looks quite good with connected textures. Just going to go around and fill in the glass for the bay window, like so. 
Now, on the bottom here, what I'm actually going to do is um, put Um, I'm going to redo the bottom, see if I can make it look a bit better. So, no. um, let's do that, and then up here, um, let's try something slightly different. Let's put a pitched roof on it. So, an upside down stair in the middle, like this, and then, yeah, I think that looks a bit better. So now we have our bay window there. We just need to um, sort out the, oh no, there goes that. If you can't tell, I'm not brilliant with the controls. <laughs> so, just going to... Meh. Uh, try and figure this out, there we go. And followed by that there like we did on the other side, just so it matches. Okay, so you could very easily just finish it here. Um, these are the very bare bones of the house. It obviously looks like a house, really, doesn't it? Um, but there's things, finishing touches like the uh, roof detailing, so chimney, any dormers we might want to put on, um, and a few more details just to make it look a little quainter. Um, so what I'm going to start by doing is adding a dormer window on this side. I agree, sheep. So we're going to um, get our spruce wood stairs and in the middle here, um, I'm going to clear a five wide gap. Le gap. Um, then I am going to start by doing what will be the overhang. Um, Done that slightly wrong, sorry. I need to, you need to start on the level with the wood, uh, the whole block of wood, because we're going to start with the, uh, the overhang coming out from the roof like that followed very swiftly by upside down stairs and a full block. And what we're going to do is the same way that we built the roof, we're going to build the dormer window. Oops, not down. Um, so all the way up, it's going to follow this one block up, then a stair, then a uh, full block, then a stair, so it's raising up a little more steeply than it would normally. And then we're going to top it up, top it off, sorry, with a stair facing outwards like that. And this is the bare bones for our dormer window. So then I'm going to get some wood planks and fill in the roof across there as well. There 
like that. Then across here. Oops. I'm gonna put get rid of that because what I'm gonna do is get some slabs, just go all the way across there. And that's our dormer window done. Just gonna get rid of that block and that block. It's gone very dark. Because it's night time and was raining, technically. So just gonna go across like that. Ta da! Beautiful. Um, so to fill in our dormer window, we are going to go across, we're just going to, sorry, fill in everything but the centre area there. Then we're going to take some spruce wood slabs. And at the bottom here, oops, not that far out, we're going to create a little sill. And fill in the window with some stained glass. There. So now we've got a little dormer on, well, quite a large dormer <laughs> on that side of the house. Now, of course you could do it on other sides, but we're not going to, because banter. So, the next step would be to create the steps coming down to the pathway, to the road, from the house. So to do that, I'm going to get some, not on this tab, I'm going to get some upside down stone stairs. I'm going to use a different material to the rest of the building because um, you don't want to risk it looking too samey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating two block high pillar outside the front door and then I'm going to surround that like that with upside down stairs. Now we are going to have to get rid of this pillar, this wooden pillar, so that we can have some stairs. But actually what we could do instead, so that we don't have to get rid of that, would be to have some half slabs get some half slabs like so down and around or get some half slabs followed by a stair let's just test that yeah you can do that um, then what I'm going to do is get some thing to decorate it with. So I'm going to get an anvil and we're going to use the anvil as our balustrade like that. Actually I have decided I am getting rid of this because I am going to have my steps come down here. I know that it probably looks quite a lot like all of this is just being made up on the spot. And to an extent it is. Um, but it's not going to be
accurate or the same every single time. So actually, I'm going to do that that way. That, that way. So then what I can do is have a bit more of a finished looking um, bal entrance, balcony, veranda, porch thing. Um, I can have a little, I suppose a bit more of a posh walkway. Actually what I'm going to do is fill in that there. Like that. Um, actually, no. I'm going to put an upside down stair there. Ew. Upside down stair there. In, that's not an upside down stair. Upside down stair there instead. This isn't a particularly accurate uh, tutorial. Um, but then it won't be because the idea is that we change them, change every single house ever so slightly each time. Um, so that they're not all identical, but they're all based on the same principle. So what I'm then going to do is go and put a root, a door ev even, put it there. I want to put the door on the inside so that it marries up well with the little nook thing. <laughs> I don't know, the, the uh, lintel, I suppose you'd call it over the door. Um, so next we are going to start adding all the little teeny tiny details like a... Uh, let's try and do a little awning porch over the top. So I'm going to get some trapdoors uh, and some fence. What I'm going to do is create a little porch like that, just to create a bit of a shambled look above there. Um, I'm also, around the windows, just going to add... Now there's lots of things that we could do here. So, um, what we could do is get some fence gates, put some fence gates... Uh, not there, sorry, there on this level here, open them like that and then put some trap doors as little awnings on the windows. Um, it's up to you. I personally think on this build what I'm going to do is put some shutters on the windows like like this so it's you know got a bit of uh, protection from the sea and the winds that will come rolling in from the sea I'm also going to add some uh, a sticking outy upside down stair. I'm going to put a plant pot, not that, that won't fit. Um, let's get some daisies. Oops, there goes that. 
Um, let's get a flower pot, and on this one, I'm going to put some daisies. I'm not going to put it on both because I don't want it to look completely symmetrical. Um, so now that we've done that, what we could do next is potentially, we'll add the chimney next. Now because there's a dormer window on one side, we're going to have the chimney on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get some, let's go with cobblestone. I want a different material really for this. So I want some cobblestone and some cobblestone stairs. And on a whole block, I'm going to go slightly further back, I'm going to go back here, a whole block, we want to get rid of two, there, we just want a chimney that winds and changes as it goes up. So to make that look a bit more believable, going to add some upside down stairs, not there actually, I'm going to do it up here. And add cobblestone in between. And add that like that. Set that, and then going to top it off with a plant pot. I'm just going to do this one over here because I haven't done that. Uh, top it off with a plant pot, and also going to get some cobwebs and we're going to make some smoke out of it. This is a really common thing but what a lot of people don't do is look which way they've done it before. So all of the houses the smoke is going to all blow one way whichever way the wind is blowing. So for me it blows over in that direction. So I'm gonna have one puff of smoke directly above and then one coming that way, and two coming out like that. And then one more above it like that. So the smoke is puffing outwards. Now, because we've got this little ledge here as well, I forgot about this, we could add some detailing on here. Um, what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to get a plant pot again. And we're just going to stick some flowers on. I don't know why I said detail. It's, I'm literally going to put some flowers on. But I'm going to put um, an, I can, if someone knows how to say it, it'd be great if someone could tell me. So <laughs> I haven't a clue. I'm going to put it in the middle by this window there. Like that. That's pretty much our house done. The exterior of the house, at least. Um, yeah, that is basically it. I mean, you can do all sorts of variations with it. So, oops. So like I've shown you this one, um, which is much larger, um, that one is based on a normal square house, like the one we've just built, but with a 3x3 three three extension on the side. This one, is, rather than being 9x9, nine this is uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13 by... Well, it's got another section on it. <laughs> um, so it's a longer house. Um, this house down here is only one section wide, one three by three section wide. Um, this one, again, has a bit of an extension on it, um, sort of a porch area, and a bay window on the front, and the door is actually in the porch. Um, actually, the house, this house right next door, this one here, oops, keep doing that, this one has a porch, but the steps for the porch, the steps for the house, are in the porch, or at least they would be once I've finished the inside. Because what we've got is our building, and the entrance is lower than the f what would be the floor level. So, there's lots of different things that you can do, and even when it comes down to just detailing them, um, this is one of my favourite areas of the city so far, um, down here, I called it Underhill, and it's got little sewer running out, this wall with all the holes in it, um, and this just demonstrates the different levels of detailing you go to. This has the awnings above the windows look. Um, this one has a bay window um, and a little porch. Um, this one's a pretty bog standard one. So there's lots of different things that you could do. Um, even getting to the point where you're starting to build huge I suppose, mansions in this style, because it, it can work. Um, like this one here. This one is huge with a massive double height hall in the centre, which is where this bay window is. Um, and it is three storeys. This is actually designed to be a, um administrative house. So it's got sort of offices, and then for on the in the roof area it's got bedrooms and things. Um, but yeah, there's lots of things that you could do with this house. And I'll do a proper tour and things in a different video potentially, um, and explain what I'm planning to do with this map. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial of how to build this little house here. Um, I might do another tutorial on how to do a larger one just in case it wasn't quite clear how to make it into a bigger, more extensive house. Um, all of the transition between the uh, street and the house can be done quite easily. Just like here we've got some um, flower beds uh, and the, the steps, of course, as well, adds a form of transition. Um, but yes, it's just a matter of playing with the details and finding details that you like and want to add on the... There's a craft table. There's a craft table up here. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of what you want to do with the house. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'm sorry it's probably a bit more rumbler than normal. Um, I'm quite tired, I had a stressful day, um, I just wanted to chill out and, like I said earlier, drown my sorrows in Minecraft, which is what I have done. But, uh, like I said, I hope that you found it useful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.